My wife asked for an open marriage and said that her friends were doing it, but I just found out they're all just having affairs behind their husbands' backs. I'm wondering if maybe I jumped the gun or have been reasonable here. My wife and I have been married for 12 years now. Things have always been great without any particular up or down. My wife has always been a kind, sweet woman, and up until this I thought the world of her. But then the downfall of our marriage would end up starting off with one question from her. She said, what if we consider opening up our marriage? Her reasoning was because all her friends did it and it's 2024. I didn't get angry or anything like that. I just listened and offered my counters. I asked if her friends are influencing her into this but she said no. I asked if she already had someone in mind and she said no. I asked her to give me some time to think about it and she agreed, stating we don't have to do it if I'm not up for it. I shouldn't have. But in the days after I checked her phone and laptop, I didn't find anything suspicious or anything that suggested she was cheating already. Even though I had no reason to believe she's been unfaithful, the idea that she wants to open our marriage didn't sit right with me. Last week, I told her I thought about it, and in my opinion, she can date anyone she wants because I want a divorce. Cue the sobbing from her, the begging and pleading in her saying, if I knew I wouldn't have even asked. She refuses to move out, and so do I. So I sleep in the guest room. She's taken sick time off from work, and every time I'm home, she keeps begging to talk and go back to the bedroom with her. I believe her friends actually tried to influence her, and she didn't do anything at all. But this unraveled my perception of her. Was I too fast to mention divorce? Update. I wasn't jumping the gun at all, as it turns out. She was cheating on me with some guy from work, not physically, but emotionally, and it was leading towards a physical effect. Affair. When I checked her phone and computer, I found nothing, but she came forward with a second phone. I had no idea she even had. She thought I already knew. That's why she came out with it. I'm very glad she did for my sake because I was just starting to regret my decision for divorce. Her friend Sweet talked her into it. Apparently, those open marriages of theirs are just their affairs. The things I saw are stomach churning. She begs to be given a second chance, and part of me is foolishly considering giving it to her because it hasn't grown physically, but it's not the right thing to do. I don't want to leave her, but I have to for the sake of my own dignity, pride, and self-respect. The love I have for her has become irrelevant. Update. I was in the process of talking to a lawyer when someone very close to me passed away in a car accident, so the process is on pause for now. My wife wanted to organize the funeral, and although I made an effort to stop her, she still did. She says my behavior is not fair because this person was like a son to her as well, and she said in a moment like this, this, we should stick together and that she doesn't care if I divorce her or not. Again, I reiterated, she's free to do whatever she wants as long as she does it away from me. And since she wouldn't respect nor honor my grief, I stopped talking to her altogether. She could talk, cry, or complain. All she wanted, but I wouldn't respond. Two days ago, I took my relative's ashes and moved into the apartment above my restaurant. My brother is the bartender and I instructed him and our employees to turn away my wife if she comes here. She tried blowing up my phone saying that taking the ashes was a low blow and we should stick together in this tragedy. But I blocked her and now I'm on to the next chapter of my life.